Hi, in this part two of the tutorial for Wake on LAN, we're going to cover Wake on LAN. Um, what you want to set up first is the Wake on LAN in the BIOS. For me, I set it up by looking at my manual and seeing um, if my board had the ability. Um, it does. Um, I enabled it and I got that working through for me. If you have a name brand machine like a Dell or an HP Gateway, nearly all of them have it. If you don't have it, it's as odd, but it has to be in there. Most most all machines have it now. Um, if you have a uh, pre-built, like if you built your own machine and you don't know if it has it, just head over to the uh, manufacturer's website and uh, download the latest manual that they have and it should have it listed in there. Okay, once you have it set up in the BIOS, you want to log into your machine and you want to click on the LAN adapter. Uh, XP users, I'll get to a section where you can follow along with me. Um, so Windows Vista and 7 users, what you want to do is go to network, network and sharing, manage network connections, go to your LAN adapter. Uh, XP users, this is where you can follow. So you want to go my computer, uh, network, view network connections, and you want to click on your LAN adapter. Go to properties, click on the config button here. You want to hit on the tab for power management. Here you want to click and check off all three boxes that are here. This will allow the machine to accept the, um, the special packet to wake up the machine. Um, you can click OK, but before you go on, if you have an advanced tab, check it out. Because be depending on what motherboard you have, you might have special features. Um, uh, I like to call add-ons to the uh, LAN adapter that you can uh, tweak. So for me, which I didn't notice, I have a wake on LAN from Power Off. I didn't notice this before, and I, I need to have that on. Because if not, then what I did over here with the power management doesn't really uh, pan out for me. Um, if you have any other features here for wake on LAN, I would read and see what they do before you enable or disable them. So once these are set, click OK, exit out, and close these out too. Now that those are set, you want to click on your browser. Uh, I already have this portion open. We'll cover what that is in a minute. Um, you want to log into your DDWRT and go to the section of administration and click on Wake on LAN. Now, if you don't see Wake on LAN, don't freak out and think this was all a waste of time. Um, actually, what it is... I found Wake on LAN on, um, by mistake. I was actually trying to set up something else and I didn't follow through with it. And I happened to stumble that I had enabled Wake on LAN. So what I would do, if you don't see it featured here, uh, don't fret. Just go to DDWRT, look up your model, and see what the different firmwares are. Um, there's different firmwares that help for voice over IP, um, tunneling so just check they should be listed um, again yeah so check that out um, but if you do have this you want to look in um, right above here available host these are the host machines that are visible on your network these are the machines that are currently on so since you're on the machine that you want to work on it'll most likely be listed at the top so here is the, uh, here's my machine, here's the MAC address, my host name, and the static IP that I set in uh, part one. So all I want to do is click enable. Then we'll go towards the bottom, here's wake online addresses. You just want to add your MAC address, your uh, host name, and for a net broadcast, you want to leave it 1.255, not the static IP that you set. You want to leave it 255 so this way it broadcasts to the entire, uh, uh, how do you say, the, everyone on that network. And um, manually, you don't really have to set it up, but I did and I didn't remove it. So if you want to put it in, put it in. And uh, remember, apply settings, then save. Once this section is complete, you move on to uh, NAT and quality of service. So this will lead you into here this section you wanna add for you wanna go into port range forwarding 
and you want to add wake on land and you want to have the starting port and the end port be 9 this is what the machine is set for you want to have the protocol UDP and the broadcast address that we set before click enable apply settings then save once this is done you're pretty much done for the wake on land so if you have a another machine that you can test this out test this on go for it um, if you want to make your life a little easier I'm gonna cover what uh, maybe some geeks don't want to do and a lot do if you don't want to remember this entire address to uh, remote into your machine or remotely wake it up what you want to do is set up a dynamic DNS so this way you don't have to remember this. Think of dynamic DNS as uh, another uh, web address that you have to remember. It's easier to remember a web address than having to remember these numbers. Believe me, it's a lot easier. Um, I use my uh, dynamic DNS to access my machine and it saves me on having to remember these numbers. Uh, it's, a, it's a godsend. So there are two main sites that I recommend. Uh, one would be DiDNS. Everyone all over the internet is using them. Uh, they must be that good. I don't know. I guess. Um, the only drawback for a few seconds is you have to try their trial. Um, so what you want to do is you want to scroll to the bottom, click on free trial of DiDNS Pro. Uh, don't freak out. You don't have to pay for anything. They just want you to try out, try it out, and if you like it, buy it. If you don't it's okay you can still keep the uh, name that you set up so just set it up we'll click on this I'll walk you through this last step okay come on open okay okay so you wanna set up some random name and then the extension there's so many you can choose from I mean it's ridiculous it's, it goes on um, you wanna host with an IP address um, you want to give it your IP address that you're using and then add to cart then you'll be you'll have to give them your credit card or bank information they won't charge you I try this out I have an account with them and um, that's pretty much it then you'll get the address and then go on from there um, but if you don't want to take uh, a chance or hassle with this there's another site that you can do that um, I'm gonna switch over to as soon as the DNS gives me any headache uh, it's called uh, freedns.afraid.org. There, they give you host names completely free. Um, if you read this, they say, um, "Why is it free?" Because they just want to challenge themselves. And um, yeah, check it out. They they're free, and uh, you can have I think multiple host names. So uh, yeah, check them out. So for uh, to set up dy the dynamic DNS, um, you want to go to setup in your DDWRT, go to DDNS, and then go down over here. Depending on whichever um, service you decide to go with, uh, I'm going to go with DDNS. You check them off. What it's going to do is it's going to go to that website and uh, make sure that this is you, and then update the the uh, host name which is pretty good so that means you don't have to have the app download the application and have you have to manually update it um, so all you have to do at this point after you make this account being it with whomever they list different sites here um, die DNS and uh, free DNS I think they're the best right now um, you put in your username the password and the host name that you decided um, leave it uh, leave the type dynamic and check that off. Leave that no. Um, you could change the update. Um, ten days. I think I should change it to ten days. Uh, I think is a little too low. Um, because if after a certain amount of time you don't use the uh, the host name, I believe it expires. But I don't know. Haven't tested that out. Um, once you set this up, just again apply settings, save, and you're done. If Throughout this entire thing, if you if the system locks up on you or it doesn't refresh over, just uh, log right back in and just click on save. Uh, I click apply settings and save because um, many tutorials done in the DDWRT tutorials 
tell you to do it and I, I'll just I just like to follow protocol so this way I don't have any issues okay so again that covers uh, wake on land um, in the next tutorial uh, the last part part three I'm gonna cover on um, remote remoting into DDWRT and remoting into your uh, machine with the uh, host address um, yeah